Hey, Topperites! Our film industry has grown a lot in the last couple of decades. In fact, you can notice lot many changes in them. From black and white, we have changed to coloured movies. From old dance forms to new hip-hop style. From old bell-bottom pants to some new funky denim. Wow, so many changes! And not just this, even you have changed a lot from the day you were born. Remember, you were of this much size. And now, look at yourself. So, what is change? Change is a process through which something becomes different than what it was. As you are seeing this video and trying to study, are the things around you continuing to remain in the same state or are they changing? The flow of your bathroom that was wet when you had a bath becomes dry after some time. The water that we keep in the freezer changes to ice. The raw vegetables present in your kitchen change into soft delicious veggies when cooked. The leaves of the trees around you which once looked green change colour and dry out. The blanket that you use to cover yourself at night is not in the same shape when you wake up. It would be all crumpled. Your hair would be messy than it was last night before you slept. Whew. So many changes around us. But this is not the end of the list. As you're listening to me, there are many changes happening inside your body. The delicious food that you have eaten is difficult for the stomach to store. Thus, the food is getting digested and changing into some simpler things. The oxygen you breathe in every second is changing your digested food into energy that would keep you going the whole day. Every day your nails grow, your hair grows, you yourself grow. This list of changes taking place would go on and on and on. Did you realize earlier that so many changes are taking place around and inside you every second, every minute, every day and night? So why don't we explore more about this never-ending list of changes? A change is used in many processes, from cooking food, to making plastics, to curing diseases. If we understand different types of changes around us, we would be able to predict what will happen to any material around us. This will make our lives easier. Like if a farmer knows that a raw fruit will change into a ripe one, a study of this change will allow him to predict how long will the fruit take to ripe and for how long will it not get spoiled after it has ripened. So finally, we have observed that there are countless changes around us. So don't you think studying about them would be easier if we group these changes together? Why don't you analyze changes around you and try to find out some similarity between them?